You just like a movie. You just like a song. When we were young. When we were young. Yeah. Plop, plop. Yeah, plop, plop, plop. Plop, plop, motherfucker. Yo, dog. I'm here, baby. <laughs> baby. Yo, yo, man, I no longer be Lee in this house. Who you are? Yo, you know, you heard about the Woke King? What's the Woke King? You've heard about the Woke King? Yeah, everyone knows about the Woke King. Right. That means you woke. I ain't, no, I ain't woke. You are. I, I'm i Slept King. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if you know this or not, but I am the Slept King. <laughs> With the I'll tell you why. I don't know what's going on. I'm not awakened to or aware of what's going on. And yet I know everything. <laughs> All right. I don't. I sleep. I no, don't know anything. Better yet. Yeah. Better yet. A slept king is somebody who is not aware of anything, but has the most to say. That's why. That's, I don't like the way you said <laughs> it. <laughs> the way you said it sounds ignorant. Really? It sounds ignorant. <laughs> ignorant. Yeah. I don't want to sound ignorant. All right. <laughs> no, I am the slept king. And um, listen, guys, I was in Dallas and I've been on the road and uh, I just want to say, um, say what's up. To my peeps in <laughs> Dallas. You know, I'd never done well in that room. Ever? I hadn't played that room in four years. And, I, you know, I decided to try. And, um, yeah, man, it was good. Sold out. A couple of them, three of them. Woo! Yeah, and the, um, it's all because of TB fans, bro. They come out. They came out and supported. And I want to let TB fans know that... Um, if you come on a Saturday, I'm not going to come out. You know, people are like, they, they tweet, come out to take photos or whatever. Mm. I only do that shit on Sundays, the last day. I'll tell you why. Because if I go out on a Saturday, you have people that aren't TV fans and they're like drunk, big white people and they'll grab me. Mm. They'll pick me up with my shirt and lift me up and go, hey man, you're funny. You know right? And I don't like that. And people get drunk and they manhandle me and I'm small and frail. Like I'm the slub king, you know? Yeah. Slub king, they don't, he my muscles aren't nap. developed. <laughs> let, let him sleep. Yeah, I sleep. My let muscles haven't been developed. It's like I've been, I've been in a coma. He needs eight naps a day. I need eight naps a day. So when people manhandle me like that, I, I get scared, you know? So on Sundays, if you come, then I, I always go out because it's only one show and I give everyone hugs and fondle. And dude, I swear well, to fondle. God. Fondle? I don't know. <laughs> I fondle people. But dude, I wanted to say this. Sunday, um, this guy gave me a DVD. It's in my back. I gotta grab it because he wrote me a letter. Oh, grab it, grab it. And I wrote, and I and I and I read it in front of um, the audience. Mm -hmm. And then I nearly broke up. It broke me up. I gotta go grab it. Okay, grab it. Grab you keep it. talking. Keep Were talking. You also, a, um, no, I wasn't in um, um, Dallas for um, reasons I cannot explain on air. But uh, oh. <clears throat> can we not call ourselves TB? Cause that's short for like, universally. That's tuberculosis. Tuberculo I know we had like a whole conversation about this when we first started the podcast. Just make sure we never said we yeah. were TB or can <laughs> for we that one reason. TGB, like something but TB, because I don't want to be associated to the T G R B L Y. Yeah. Okay, Bobby has a DVD. So this guy, so this guy, this this kid, he was a. He looked nerdy. He looked skinny. He kind of looked like a meth head. I'll be honest, but you <laughs> know, what I mean? but Sorry, if I looked in his eyes. There's softness inside his soul. Uh, mm -hmm. I can read that as Slap King. And um, so <laughs> I'm on stage and he goes, hey, I brought you this <coughs> DVD, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Tr he, it's Troll and Troll 2. Tr troll. troll 2. Oh, yes. <gasps> troll 2, right? May I borrow that? Yeah. And he wrote me this. Okay. Can I read it? Can yeah. I, oh, yeah. yeah read can it. I read, read it? it. So this is, I read this to the audience. Okay. <clears throat> Bobby. Thank you for being an inspiration from one former addict to another. Thanks. Everything you've been through and overcome makes me want to be a better person. You rock. You taught me that it's okay to be weird and to embrace it. Mm. Ryan Russell. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. SK. Damn. SK all day. What's SK? Slep King? Yeah, Slep, Slep King. King. <laughs> how, can, how can you... How can you... <laughs> SK I mean, all day. I mean, it's like, it's, it's getting so real. It's too real. Is this toot your horn up? No, your own no, it's not tooting. No, I'm not tooting my fucking horn. I'm not. I'm not tooting my horn, and that's rude that you would even accuse me of that. What I'm doing <laughs> is, you know, let me say something right now, okay? Look at my finger right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at my finger right now. Do you see my finger? Yes. What you don't see is God's finger touching my finger like this. Oh. <laughs> that's what you don't see. Like in that painting. Like in the, the painting, like yeah, the Michelangelo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. 
Like this is this. what you don't see, okay? <laughs> so I don't know if that's bragging, but yeah. that's where I'm at mm. as a vessel for the Lord. Wow, Texas has really changed you. I'm a Trump supporter now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe. Listen, we got to get the terrorists out. And if we have to vet a little bit, if we have to like put people in like you know a little uh, a prison at the airport for yeah. a little bit, so be it. That's the price we pay for being Americans. <laughs> Secondly, mm-hmm. we got to put the pipeline down as f- as soon as we can. Yeah, because we got to get all the animals sick. <laughs> we got to get all the animals sick, and the, we got to wipe out the Indians. We got to wipe out the Indians. We got to right? contaminate the water. Yeah, yeah. We got to build the fucking wall so that we can, as American tax- taxpayers, spend all our fucking money. Yeah, and that yeah. wall too, right? On the wall, it's not gonna work. But we have to build it mm-hmm. because let's I, definitely I, let's definitely dispatch as much money as possible to the wall and yeah. while while Flint, Michigan, can't and then even also drink, like, what I'm going to do, I'm doing a special fund to give Steve Bannon makeup artist. Oh wow! I swear to fucking God, <laughs> you're not going to get a makeup artist. I mean, you look like I didn't know that skin you can get skin aids. <laughs> Exclusive skin. Exclusive. Aids. It, he looked like uh, Rock Hudson after he died. <laughs> I mean, and you, he's trying to win a red dot contest on his oh. face. I just want to comb <laughs> a red I mean, dot contest. Did you see all the little red dots on his face? Dude, you're on TV. You're like, uh, you're a part of the government now. Get a makeup artist, Steve Bannon. You heard it from the SK. SK in the house is saying it. And Kellyanne Conway needs like a oh, hairbrush fuck. or something or oh, like a fine needs. tooth comb or some fucking pomade. Just like mat- pat it down a little bit. Yeah. You have three hairs left. Just like pat she, it down. She, yeah. Yeah. She does have three <laughs> hairs left. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I I believe in Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Wow. Yeah, I believe. I went to Texas and it turned me around. Let, let me say something right now. Okay. <laughs> I was asleep for a very long time. <laughs> oh, I was sl- guys. Exactly how long? Exactly a long. Sixteen time. hours. Sixteen hours. Okay. <laughs> and I want to say I was in Texas and I um, this is a guy named I don't want to name his name, but he oh. runs the, the improvs out there. A couple of them. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows him in the in the stand up comedy universe and um. He told me that he voted for Trump, and I, you in the car. I almost jumped out of the car, and then we did press, and then we went to a restaurant, and the owner of the restaurant came and sat next to us. Nice man. I'm not kidding you. Beautiful guy. Great restaurant. Great food. Beautiful wife. Beautiful kids. And he, as his kids and everyone walked away from the table, he looked at me and goes, "Hillary's a fucking cunt. I ain't gonna what? fucking vote for that cunt, right?" And I, I looked in his eyes and I went, yeah. <laughs> That's real. Slap K. Slap K. S K. Did you just do the usual yes and master? Because you were um, afraid of any type of discussion. I was a danger county. Listen, well, listen. When you, when you're confronted with something this insane, to me, it's a nightmare, right? I mean, let's be honest. It's, it's it's crazy, and then when you you're confronted with people that voted for him, you start questioning your own like sanity, really. Like, am I am I in an alternative universe? I mean, am I am I thinking straight? That's what makes me wonder too. Why do I feel so correct in my thoughts? I feel so strong. I'm very I'm full of conviction about what I think is right and wrong. That it. It makes me feel funny and strange that someone could have such completely opposing views about humanity, about common decency, or because I'm so. Mm-hmm. But but then again, it's like, you know, what am I a product of? It makes me question really, like, you know, if there even is a fucking right or wrong. I mean, in my head, there is. In its eye, oh yeah, one hundred percent. I I felt this. Whatever you just said, I felt the same exact way. Mm-hmm. Everything you just said, okay. But I also thought, you know, these people in the Midwest are so scared of <coughs> Muslims and so scared of Syrian you know, refugees coming to this country. But when ISIS ever attacks the United States, it's not the middle of the country. It's New York, big city. It's us. It's us. LA. Right. And LA. still, we're voting for <laughs> the Democrat. Like you're not even threatened. You're no, no one's gonna go to Dallas. The immigrants don't even go to you. They come to us. Yeah, yeah. cities. And if we're okay with it, maybe you should follow suit. Well, but when presidents go to Dallas, they get shot in the head. Oh my lord, Whoa. Bobby. Did that not happen? It did. Fact. Fact. Did that not happen? Slept King spoke. <laughs> it happened. Okay. He just woke everyone. I just woke everyone up. You know what I mean? 
He yeah. died there. He got shot in the head. So it's like, who are you preaching to? That's all I'm saying. I don't want. I know we said we were going to talk about politics, but but I like I, that you're admitting that Texas has like turned you around and that you're. I'm a different. I'm a red. You're a different man. I'm red. He's, red. He's yeah. fully red now. Because um, I want to live. <laughs> I, I, wanna, do. I, I do. I want to survivor die. mode. I survive. I die. Now you just want to go with the grain. No, I'm not. You know, I, you know me, man. I don't. I'm not with. It's crazy. It really is crazy. When Bannon said, "There's too many Asians in Silicon Valley," and things like that, and you, you hear Wait, things what? like, "Is that a thing yeah, he said?" That's an I, actual I, I thing said he said, said in this talk show. What? Yeah. yeah. There's too many Asians, Asians in Silicon, Silicon Valley. I think he was referring to Indians in particular. Yeah. What's up? No, we get everybody from like uh, the IIT that like has a PhD or master's degree from India. It's a brain drain from India. That's the smartest thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A good economy. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. George because is agreeing. <laughs> you're agreeing for once. Well, because you went red, he went blue. Oh, no, I always yeah. believe this, man. Are you oh, red or blue? Be real. He's green. I know you're pink. He's orange. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pinkish. No, man, I'm a libertarian, so I've always been like, I've always believed that something different than everybody else around me. All I know is that, yeah, I, I'm probably wrong because mm-hmm. everybody else around me believes something different. Mm-hmm. So why believe strongly? But what is the color, though? Mm-hmm. Pinkish, pinkish, pinkish. Ish. Dark sh- purple. Also, shout out to uh, Fire and the Kid for having me on. Oh yeah, that was a really. Uh, How was that? It was actually pretty fun, man. It was really fun, and those two guys were in the pocket together. And you, you know what? You when you I trust Brian as a comedy guy. Yeah. I, okay. I mean, I, I mean, we were on Mad together. I mean, he was before me, but um, I've done stand up with him. I've been on the road with him. I've, I know he's one of the funniest human beings off stage too that you've, you'll ever meet. I mean, you can ask anybody. I mean, he rivals you. The, no, not even, oh. yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, not even close to him funny off stage. That dude is fucking funny. Very funny. Yeah, and um, a nice guy. And um, Brandon too is a really nice guy. And um, we, I needed the help. I, I think that, you know, doing that podcast is going to help us. And anything that helps us, I'm going to do. And uh, it was a good experience. I love those guys, and I want to thank them. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of podcasts promoting mm. Tiger Belly. And, um, Here we go. I want to ask. I, you know, it's cool. Again. No, I'm not asking Two weeks again. in a row. Ask not us two again. Two weeks in a row. Slap King. Slap King is talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a tagline, too. <laughs> it's just Z's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at the finger. No, wait, 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 and then now? No, he was already there. Oh, he, he's always, always there. there. You yeah. just the finger is always down from God because so you have a main, and line. he has two hands, right? So, so one of them is like running the world, and, and like, the other one is just we're to slep, me. We're slept king. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> and I, I, I everyone, I, when I had the time, day, I'll touch his finger. Day. Wow, right? he has a main line to. You have a main to line heaven. to God to heaven, God. right? And um, God wanted me to ask you guys, what the fuck are you doing today? Yeah. Um, we. Um, you really want to know? Yeah. So today, George and I finalized the merch order. Um, your website um, went down today, so Ooh. I updated it. I I called all your features and openers, and I texted them. Now, that's what that's the things we do: the busy work, the ugly stuff, the stuff you don't want to do. Yeah, because I'm sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because a sub kid needs to sleep. Yeah. You know. All right. Thank you. That's yeah. not who I was asking though. <laughs> He's right towards me. Yeah, I'm t- toward <laughs> flat face. Oh, uh, what I do today or what? I, I want to say this to you, okay? You're a little busy body, are you not? A little busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get in your bit. car, you jet around, you do your little showcases around. and your little improv L- classes. A little, bit of li- classes. little bit of lift here and there. You do your lift every, every once in a while. Um, we're about to make money on this thing, and uh, you can tap into the resources. I already fucking told you that, yeah. all right? Because you're part of the family. Thank you. Right? But maybe your focus is um, elsewhere but the podcast. I just need you to get yeah, one my, eye. My career. I, this is your career too. Yeah, it's part of it. No, it is a big part of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you, okay <laughs> you're, you're being very confrontational. No, right? I'm, I'm answering your question. Question. That's a That's a good question. That's a good question for you. Yeah, yeah. Is this something that we can consider a career? It what is. we do to me, podcasters a thing. To me, to me, yeah. It's becoming more real as the days go by. Okay, because I go out there, right, as a journeyman. As a mm-hmm. prophet of sorts, 
right? To touch the people, <laughs> right? I hug them <laughs> cheek to cheek, body to body, energy exchange. You try to say you're Jesus. No, I didn't say that. But I do have a, um, <laughs> a line up to somebody. Okay. And um, the line is directed to me, and I, I'm, just, I'm a, a vessel. The Dak- Dakota Access Pipeline to God. That's what I would exactly call yeah. it. Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what I would say. And um, I feel that you're very talented. Look at me right on my eyes. You're getting fat, but that's fine. Hey, what the, I thought you, I, I, I you really put a, a I know. hard sitcom reversal I on that know. one. That was you know, a multi- you case. actually lost a little weight since we called you fat. Two days. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I started having to lose yeah. weight for pilot season. So yeah. I'm uh, no carbs again. Yeah. Okay, but back to my main question, Sorry. guys. Yeah. If when people ask, like when people ask me what I do for a living since like I don't, you know, yeah. not nursing anymore, <clears throat> I still say everything but a podcast. What well, you should. No, you have to say it. No, I, I literally say like, oh, you know, over this, like I'm a swim instructor. I do everything that uh, I've ever done this is except what you do. podcasting. This it's is what you do. First of all, th- I'm going to say this is that the reason why we have this is because of you. I would not have it without you. I would not even know where to start. You're the one that linked up with George. You're the one that got this fucking flat face in. <laughs> You're the one that like, it, this is your dream really. And um, But it's weird to say it really wasn't my dream. I never thought. I you mean, know, I don't know if people want to listen to us talk about us, you yeah, know what I mean? But, you know, <laughs> that's just, sometimes we have to do that. I clean house mm. and we have to really get things on the table, you know? And um, this is a government. This is our little p- politics here, mm. you know? And I'm the Trump in this situation. We know that. Well, who am Who's I? Bannon? No, you're uh, Melania. Don't say Melania. Oh. I can do, but I can do. <laughs> you're Melania. Can do. You're definitely Melania. Why would she be Melania? Yeah. Damn it. I want to be more useful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're the girl then. What's her name? Kellyanne Conwell. Okay, I can be Kellyanne, Kelly I guess. Conwell. You're Steve Bannon. <laughs> All right? Because of your blotchy skin. And you're skin. Spicer. <laughs> you're the, I get Spicer? Yeah, you're Spicer. You're Spicer, yeah. I wanted to be a little son. Oh, no, no, no. You're not that. You're not that cute. Yeah, Baron. Gobi. No, no, yeah. No. Gobi's Baron. You're not. But it's just uh, the last thing I want to say about Trump is it is funny that he's only been in for two oh, weeks. Yeah. And it's just so much chaos and fun. It really is, it, it, you know, because I was obsessed with Bush. Like, I was like, you know, even when, like, he lied to the American people about weapons of mass destruction, we went into Iraq, caused a civil war, and I feel like, I felt like I was the only one, I mean, I'm sure everyone knew about it, but I felt like I was dwelling on it, and I was putting a lot of my attention on it and my feeling. And then when Barack came on, I, that stopped. For eight years, I haven't really thought about politics, and then now I'm back in. Like I'm like obsessed mm. with it, and it's got my. I'm, I keep checking the news, and um, I check yeah. his Twitter. <clears throat> He's the first Twitter president. It's great, and it's like um, you 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 do what's that one? A uh, Trump regrets. Trump regrets. What's that? Yeah. It's just it's, the it's, Twitter it, handle of every, uh, of like. <laughs> They just retweet people, Trump voters who like regret voting for, <laughs> voting for Trump. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, oh, there's a whole thing on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Trump regrets, and um, a lot of it, a lot of it though is fake. Oh, it's I believe a lot of it's fake. As a lot of those Trump bots were fake too. I mean, ooh, shots fired. I um, <clears throat> I had to turn my brain off because I had been dwelling on a few things too heavily over the past week. So yeah. I, I, I took a break and I watched Miss Universe <laughs> last night. Uh-huh. Yeah, and who won? Uh, Miss France, because she was the only, the only person who actually answered a question. Yeah, you know, and I and then all these Filipinos are kind of like ragging on the Philippine contestant because she do? Fili- um, English is not her first language, mm. and she had the translator there, but she instead oh. chose, insisted to answer in English, and oh my god, I couldn't even look at the TV. I mean, Korea never makes it, so sorry. Yeah, because the, we, but... we we choose the like a yellow stick figure. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, is this a yellow that? stick man up yeah, there? I mean, like, Korea. yeah, it's never hot. Yeah, wow. but you guys, can we just find the video of her Who? answering Miss the, the Philippines? Phil- Miss Philippines? Yeah, yeah. Find I don't want to like. I'm surprised they chose someone that doesn't speak English. So no, she is beautiful. You know, she's that's the thing. It's like they always say like women empowerment, but it just sometimes doesn't feel like that when you're watching i mean the woman who won miss universe she's a she's a dent she's in dentist dentistry you know these girls do stuff with their lives but i'm saying like how it's presented like the optics of it doesn't feel like women empowerment 
You know, yeah. it's just it's kind of like it's just a multi million dollar business, I think, that they just you know. But it's also oh, I almost said, I don't I'm gonna forget it. No, what? I can't say it. Slap King, but walk us, walk us all. I'll say it. I'll say it as a slap king. Okay, so it's not, I guess not Bob. Hey, yeah, guys. yeah. I'll say it as a so, slap king. I'm Bob. Uh, Bobby Bobby is, is one person. Slap, slap king, king is, is the another one. Yeah. Is it, how can you vote without seeing the vagina? Uh, you said this the last time. Slap, slap king. <laughs> you can't say that, slap king. Uh, not I mean, Bobby Lee. If you win and they have a disaster down there, how is that? That's only ninety percent good. Slap king. <laughs> You can't say Oops. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. might be worse than Trump. <laughs> why? 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 Because even he wouldn't say that. It's a truism, though. It's not a George, truism. No, tr- wait, wait. What the oh. fuck is wrong with you? Why are you hitting me? I hate that you just said that. All right, but you hit the slip king, not Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel anything. Do you right. guys want to listen to her answer? No, but before we do, let's just dwell on this for a second. <laughs> dwell. Just so that I can just get out of the way. And then, and then we can move on with that, okay? Is what was so wrong ab- about what I said? That you should, we should be judging women by the look of their vagina solely. With, no, no, by no, the no, look no, no, no. I didn't vagina. say that. Did I say that? Like, how can you? How can it's you a, pick a wither? It's winner? a part. It's a part of it, right? It, it, it even if it's two percent of it, right? Of the vote, yeah. right? So if you're down to two women, they both had pretty good answers. They're both very, very attractive, right? You should have like a deadlock thing. Let's see if her vagina. Basi- que- question- and if one of them's like like a flower and tight, and then one of them looks like fucking jazz hands, you go. I, we're gonna do the flower. And what would be your three criteria? Oh, I mean that's it's, it's very important. Okay. First of all, we have to know what it is. Sometimes you look at a vagina; it doesn't even look like a vagina. So that's already you're already eliminated. It's funny that your penis looks like a vagina, though. That's fine. He's gonna I'm not also miss, he's not, gonna win Miss Universe. I'm not also not <laughs> Mr. Universe. Miss Universe. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Universe. Well, I'm not you, running for that. You would be Miss Universe with your vagina is what I'm saying. With a... Okay. <laughs> oh, hit, it's I even. Hit, you're, you're, you're <laughs> I love hit, how you just paused. Yeah, yeah. That was I, mean, I, I, was, I couldn't... <laughs> you thought about it. I, yeah, I, I had to play hit her. Can, can, I, can I play this? I'll play it. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. What is the most significant... Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. They rehired Steve Harvey? Say, yeah. They rehired him? He fucked up last year. It wasn't actually his fuck up. It wasn't. It wasn't? No, he did. All like the whole right. story came and out. And also, I, I have a thing against him, but go ahead. Well, yeah, oh. we talked about I it. I know, but fuck it. Let's do it. Go. Slept King, though. It's weird that he doesn't find any Asian man, like, what, dateable, but he's in Asia. I know. The Filipinos are so forgiving. They're like, yeah. Oh, it's shot in the Philippines? It's in the Philippines. This, this is, is why this makes it more painful because okay. I wanted her to use, if she just spoke Tagalog, she would have killed it. Easy. Yeah, and then, but there's this idea that, oh, if, you know, because Philippines, you know, most people in the Philippines speak English, that she should answer in English, but that's not true. Not everybody has access to private school. Not everybody can think politics and culture in English. Everyone has baseline English back home, mm-hmm. but not, not enough English to discuss politics and culture, you know? It's like very... Anyways, here you go. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Pause for stop, the tra- stop, Let's stop, talk about stop, the translator stop, stop, stop. for a second. <laughs> that can't be any form of language on planet Earth. Can I just say right now? Yeah, I yeah. hear a lot of Tagalog. That sounded like Bobby's impersonation. Of- <laughs> exactly. This is what I heard. <laughs> okay, resume. The- it's like, no, it's like this. It's like the thing shitting rocks. That's what it sounds like. Oh, come- oh yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right, all right. go ahead. You're, it's a beautiful language. <laughs> Ten years. Hold on, hold on. The question was. Yeah, I already know what the question is. Okay. In the last ten years, what was the most significant change? Yeah. Years of being here in the world is that I saw all the people bringing in one event like this in Miss Universe, and it's something big to us that we are one. As one nation, we are all together. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Jesus Christ. So the question was, <laughs> let me just, I just need to figure this out. Okay. Now I forgot the question. I know, I was so thrown off by the answer. Right. So in the last 10 years, 
What is the most significant change you've seen? Mm -hmm. That we are one. Yeah. Together. Together. In this world. Mm -hmm. In this world. Is basically her answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I want to do. We're going to do... Okay, because you're on the spot, right? You have 30 seconds to answer the question. Okay, Bobby, stand over there. You're Miss Philippines, okay? Stand mm -hmm. up. Come on. Okay. You got 30 seconds to answer this question. Right. To see you're going to give, you give me yep. any question? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to do the same one. Ready? No, no, give me a. No, because I already know my. So give me a different. I want to see how I can work under pressure. Oh, so right. Like so, a, yeah, because they don't know the answer, right? Yeah. So if I've already had thought time okay, okay, to okay. Thought, think about the answer, <laughs> so give me a question. Okay. And then maybe I can figure it we'll out. We'll do the final answer of Miss Universe. Ready? Uh huh. Okay. Miss Korea. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Name something during the course of your life that you failed at and that you learned from. Uh, when I uh, was 18, I um, applied for to get a modeling agency, and everybody said that I wasn't hard enough, that I wasn't um, <laughs> acute enough. And my figure was too not like a model, so I was gonna quit. But I didn't. I knew that in my dream I wanted to do this, so I persevered, and I took all the you know negative energy that people were putting around me, and I said, you know what, I'm a human being. I believe in this, and I and I did it, and now I'm here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Miss Korea, second Korea. question. That was pretty good, That's though, like, right? Yeah. Miss right? Korea, second question. Yeah, go ahead. Name a current or past world leader whom you admire and why. Uh, I really <laughs> like um, Barack Obama because of the fact that, you know, for 400 years, they have uh, a white president every time, and you think that the American people are conditioned to only vote for a white person, but, you know, they, um, as, a, as a collective group, they voted for the best qualified person and um he um i think that he changed the world by just being elected okay. but do you know why i can answer like that because i'm not retarded like these girls they're not <laughs> retarded that's what dude it's so i swear to fucking god it's so easy. Ask me another yeah. one. It's <laughs> easy. No, no, no. Ask me whatever. On January 21st. Yes. Estimated 4.8 billion people yeah. march worldwide for human rights. Yes. Women's rights and other issues. Yes. If you were able to participate, what would you have been marching for? Oh, I would be marching. Uh, obviously, because I, was a, I am a woman, that I would be marching for women's rights. Mm -hmm. But not just women's rights in America or in a specific place. Women's rights all over the world. Because in Saudi Arabia, women cannot even thrive, right? So their views about women are a little bit more prehistoric or medieval than my views. So it should be a global, <laughs> I think it should be a global, you know, made attention on women's rights in general. And we should combine that we're all human beings and we are a part of one vessel. We are one vessel and we are the same. That killer right there, that killed it. Yeah, the girls are retarded. I just got word that Miss Korea is, in fact, comedian Bobby Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Very nice yeah, yeah. vagina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's my thing. So what I'm no, what I'm saying right now is that question that she was asked mm -hmm. is the most simplest standard. Set standard question, and you can't answer that. Okay. Show me your vagina. <laughs> That's the <laughs> See the vagina. <laughs> that right now. Her, that's why I said she should have used a translator. No, see you the vagina. You use a fucking translator. Because I'm telling right now, if her vagina was like tight, <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. And like, Stop it. and still, just let me finish my fucking thought. <laughs> my thought, right? And the fucking, uh, what's that little thing that was there when did we lose a virginity? I'm in. still intact. Like it's golden, like it's shiny. You win. Uh, oh, that's it. She wins. Oh, you don't know what you just said, but you win. <laughs> I felt really bad for a lot of these yeah, yeah. I really did. You don't want me to judge it. Do they get anything out of it? Like, how much do they win? Nothing. Um, they become, if you're Miss Universe, you get to live in New York for a week, uh, for a year. A week? Yeah, and you get, like, you know, I guess gigs and stuff. It's just That's a it. really, like, it's like a launching pad for possibly a career. Yeah, but sometimes when you win, you, in second place is sometimes they, they get, you know, they do better in life, I think. Second. Place. Second, but look at Clay Last Aiken. Comic Standing, the first season. <coughs> who was Rafi May, and um, I don't know who won it, but um, <laughs> <laughs> Rafi May is really good. I'm gonna yeah. check if he unblocked me. Who? who the, 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 for, winner uh, of, the winner of uh, uh, Last Comic, Comic Standing. Standing. Duh. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have said that. I'm so delete it. You wanna? Um, What's up? Um, 
So I guess uh, my mom found a lot of like old newspaper oh my clippings God. It's of, unbelievable. of me and yeah. I sent them all to Bobby. Yeah. And, and I'm going to say this right now, okay? I knew verbally, she told me that, you know, I used to be kind of a big thing in the Philippines as a swimmer. And you kind of imagine, you go, okay, I guess, you know. Because I had some news, I was in a newspaper once as a wrestler. My brother was a couple times, you know, as a wrestler. And, um, but hers was legit. I mean, I saw nine articles just on a whim, she just sent it to me. But 90% of them, she's crying in them. But because oh, she lost. You sent it. I was the I mean, she's what? sitting there like, uh, you know I mean? She took second place and they take a photo of her as a kid crying because you know that her mom, you know, Miss Hannigan, is going to rip her a fucking new asshole. And, and you could see the pain and suffering that she went through as a kid. Let me show the camera too. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll post this. So that picture right there, what was your immediate thought? There's a couple others of me crying. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I, um... I think that I didn't take losing very well when I was younger because a lot was riding on my shoulders. It wasn't a sport that I could just enjoy for, you know, because if, you know, as sports should be, it should be enjoyable. But at that age, you know, I was, you know, we got money from the Philippine government if we won certain things, if we broke certain work records, if we swam for you know, internationally. And at that time, um, my parents financially weren't doing very well. <laughs> And that's another one of Here's another crying. one. And that's what, like, the papers chose to use? Yeah, let's choose the one that was... Oh, it like also says Kalila shines in U.S. Junior Swim Fest, and then a picture of an old picture of me crying. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, Wait, a lot, sides. A lot, a lot rode on more than yeah. just um, winning, So I and I, I used to get beat, you know? So it was oh like... Oh, God, Asian parents. <laughs> I know, rough. Asian parents are really rough, They're the man. worst. There's no... There's not a moment to chill and relax like it was all work and all grit and all yeah. hard work this is fucking awful i don't really want to remember it and maybe a lot of it has to do with your heart condition maybe even do you think yeah i think i i i, I wore my body to the ground too early you know i've been doing <laughs> i'd been doing two a day since i was eight years old which is like way too young but at that time like they didn't know any better so they're just like yeah just make them work horses mm -hmm. and i used to have these like traps like, I swear to God, when I was 10 years old, I had the biggest traps in the world. I looked like a little dude. Mm -hmm. Just because that's, like, that's all I did. I woke up at 5 in the morning, swam, went straight to school at 7. 7 to 4 p.m., I'd go to school. Then to the weight room. Then back to the water. Come home at 9.30 p.m., do homework, start all over again. Oh, my God. Imagine that. Yeah. I'm a pussy. I'm the opposite in competition. I remember a time in um, when I was 12, I did a, a martial arts tournament. So we used to have to spar, right? Yeah. We used to fight people. Right? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I usually don't uh, do well in it because I hyperventilate. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you panic? It, it's not real. Yeah. So I'm going to say right now, I was a liar as a child. Yeah. I, for some reason, won or by default made it to the championship round. I had to yeah. fight a girl named Jackie O'Lane from yeah. Alabama, top competitor. I was so scared that after she hit me the first time. Yeah. Wait, wait. Stop. Head, no, head. It's a girl. It's they used to mix it at twelve years old. Yeah. They used to be boys. You and lost girls. to a girl. Let's not. Let's, oh, let, I, did I lose? Just get ready for All this. All right, let's go. What happened was I got hit, yeah. and then point. And that's you know they yeah. put the flags yeah, up. Yeah. It's like the karate tournaments. And then um, I did not want to feel embarrassed anymore, losing to her or just fighting in general. Yeah. yeah. So what I started doing is when I'm, they say fight, I go. <sighs> Like you can't breathe. I can't breathe. And I just fake collapse. Yeah. And I remember everyone like surrounding me to stop it. I look at the corner of my eye. It's my mom. My mom goes. Oh, my God. Because she knows that I do this all the time on Saturdays during a sparring rehearsal. So what would you do? Oh, they just stopped the whole thing. She won. You're a fucking. So you pull out. You just. No, no, no. You don't... No, stop. Stop. That's the fucking saddest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I know. That's what you did? I had to survive. That's you surviving? So you had fear of embarrassment. Um, I, first of all, I didn't like getting hit. Yeah. I mean, oh you're 12. Oh, my God. I didn't like getting hit. This girl was very dangerous. Let me see your... <laughs> no, no, no. This 12-year-old girl was... a piece of shit. She's very dangerous. She was from a Christian-based martial arts academy, <laughs> and they would pray what all the... What are you laughing at about? <laughs> you get punched by Jackie Olaid. George, <laughs> can you find a photo of her now, or... Oh, <laughs> maybe. Find she probably... A photo. Maybe. Yeah. 
I'm so ashamed. Maybe we should get a different fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a different engineer. That's fucking. Oh, I want to say this too before I forget. Um, I saw a documentary uh, about Rodrigo and Gabriela. Mm -hmm. You know who they are? I love them. Mm. Love I don't them. know. It's a music. You don't duo. know who they are? Okay, they're they're. It's a girl and a guy, and they play acoustic guitar. It's basically they do some Metallica covers and stuff, but they do just really hypnotic like music. You they're know? always at the Hollywood Bowl, <laughs> and um, they're huge, and they do all the festivals and stuff. And it's just how they made it, and it's just so. It just it makes me feel. I cried when I watched it because. These two kids from Mexico City, they at, at a time in Mexico when they couldn't get a lot of albums because there was like in the 70s or like a boycott, like a government boycott. So they had to smuggle in music. And these kids from like middle class homes, one girl, Gabriela, who like would borrow somebody's guitar because she wanted to play it so much. And this guy, Rodrigo, who his brother and him played a lot. But. And then they two, Gabriela and Rodrigo, met when they were young, like tw 13, 14 years old. They started a heavy metal band, didn't work out. So they just decided to just play with each other. And they left Mexico and they ended up in, they go, let's just go to Europe. Mm -hmm. So they were poor, no money. They're in Ireland mm -hmm. playing the streets, these two, right? And But the, there was somebody else playing in the streets at the same time was Damien Rice. I oh, love him. Okay, so Damien Rice so is much. playing too. So then they leave, right? And, it, and they also, when they would play, Damien would just sit there on the street and just watch them play. Mm -hmm. And go, oh my God, these guys are so fucking, like everyone did. They went to Denmark for a year to see if they could make it there. But then when they came back to Ireland, Damien Rice had blown up. Mm. Yeah, he had become a big star. In like a year, yeah. or a couple years, and then they were playing like walking down the street with their guitars, and da they ran into Damien Rice, and Damien Rice goes, "Hey, I don't know how to do an Irish accent, but try it." No, I don't want to. Yeah, what? Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the go-to. <laughs> lucky Charms. No, uh, <laughs> so good enough. <laughs> um, they said, "Hey, open for me," and so they had all like. The, all the like the, the music industry of Ireland was there, and these two, obviously, they seized the opportunity and they just fucking rocked the house. And since then, you know, they got signed. Yeah. And they blew up, but it's like they went from playing basically street to festivals to, I mean, they're just amazing, right? And um, yeah, it just was a really inspiring story when you come from nothing and you really try hard for years you go to different countries and you you, you start from the ground up like p being a street performer mm -hmm. is so difficult like yeah. robin williams used to do it oh. in the 70s yeah. um chappelle used to do it when he was 17 in new york it's a hard racket to do yeah. to get, get money from tips but they i mean it's just incredible and now obviously they they're back in mexico living they have mansions and they're killing it in life, but, you know, it's just a really good documentary. Do you think that street performers now could still um, hit the lottery in that way? Oh, yeah. When, you know what it is? Is everyone that <laughs> saw these two play were like, holy fuck. Yeah. That, so that's the one thing you need. Undeniable. Yeah, you got you got to be good, you know. Yeah. Um, even if you're okay, you could get lucky. But if you're good, like these guys were, like she, Gabriella... She, they thought she was playing flamenco, but she was developing her own way of playing guitar. And one of the guys from Testament is a band, right? Like a hard rock band, mm -hmm. was saying like, yeah, she was a f like that. She would play, but also do percussions on her mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. neck and the and the front of her guitar. Yeah, and that no one does that the way she did it. She developed that on her own. So when you're innovating shit, you're a woman with the, some guy, and that you and you're just they practiced all day every day. It's just amazing. Have you heard them play? They're amazing. Mm -hmm. They are amazing. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh, if you guys want to watch it, it's on iTunes and whatnot, you know? <laughs> Keep plugging these movies. You know, you should do your own um, movie reviews. Movie and... reviews. Oh, yeah, I could. I could. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Give me a movie. I'll review it now. Um, uh, the Matrix. Really? <laughs> Which one, though? The first, the first, first one. one. 90, 1999. I give a Matrix, um, the first one, an A+. 
Wow. For, for what? For well, first of all, that that you know, I mean, you've seen a million movies do it, but like that camera setup they have, where they have that, like you know, when they go around the body and they freeze and all that. That, that mm-hmm. was the first time they ever did that, really. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's innovative in that so, and, and and conceptually, it's a high concept movie. Imagine watching The Matrix for the first time. Oh yeah. You don't know what the fuck is going on, <laughs> right? And and it's it's my it's it the, the delivery of that idea was almost perfect and. I'm glad Johnny Depp didn't do it. You know, Johnny Depp was off. Oh, really? And, and Will Smith. And Will Smith, yeah. Whoa. And and they went to, you know, Keanu. Keanu was the third one. He was perfect for it. He's good in that movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because there's like, only, he only says a few things throughout Trinity. But the like, f- that's the whole movie. I can dodge bullets. But the, the, but the <laughs> dojo, but the dojo scene, the oh, first one Morpheus, is so, so good. The, I mean, we've seen wire work. But we had never seen. I mean, here's where you saw wire work for the first time where in, in, in an obvious way. Which is in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, mm-hmm. and The Matrix, mm-hmm. right? You saw it in ways that you know, almost in a fantasy way, mm-hmm. where you would float, you know, and things like that. That, but it works in the Matrix um, world world because of the fact that it's not it's in your head, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> but um, yeah, I give Matrix an A A plus. Damn. The the third one is a fucking F. The second <laughs> one is a C. They should only made did one. Did the Wachowski well siblings do all three? Yeah, yeah, and their careers they after did. him. No, you know, uh, the but only, they, they mo- have a, a a series out on Netflix called Sense Eight, and it's supposed to be pretty good. I've never watched it, oh, but I heard powers, it's pretty right? good. People with powers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, the the only movie they made aside from Matrix that was very good is V for Vendetta. I love. Oh, that that's movie. them. It's a great movie. Yeah. Give me another movie. You, Clara. <laughs> this is um, interesting. Gosh, I don't know. See a movie, George. I oh, have, wait, hold on, I hold on. Have Miller's it. Crossing. Oh, fuck. Okay. I can't even <laughs> fuck it. You really want to get deep, huh? Miller's Crossing. <laughs> Miller's Crossing is. Um, I give that an, also an A plus. Soundtrack alone. Soundtrack is amazing. Yeah. And then John Turturro's performance, the best he's ever done. I'm, I've never seen it of Night of. Yeah. Right. I I doubt. It's even comparatively close to Miller's It's Dow- compared. It's it's no. close. Night of was great. Night of John Turturro and Night of it, is spectacular. I understand that he's been spectacular in everything he's done. Yeah, that's true. But Miller's Crossing, it's another level of weasel and cowardice, and and the dimensions of being humble and then also very egotistical and and he runs the gamut in this character and um. Oh my God, he, it's he's amazing. So A plus, A plus. Just the the soundtrack and that alone, and then Gabriel. The the movie is also, you know, the Coen Brothers. A lot of their movies are cartoony in many ways, like Burn the zooms room. and and it's they're, it's very innovative. Even if you see something like Blood Simple, they do a lot of like artsy shit, like bullets and then like light shooting shining through mm-hmm. the bullets, you know, holes and stuff like that. I mean. You know they the Coen Brothers worked on Evil Dead too. I What's you your favorite mm-hmm. Coen Brothers movie ever? I think again because of the cartoon zaniness of it is probably Raising Arizona. I love Raising Arizona. I mean, just the this chase sequence alone of going through the grocery store and the dogs and all that it's stuff. Just it's funny. just so fun to watch. Yeah. And in a lot of film school, that's what they show is that mm-hmm. is that movie. That movie is very good, and it's done with such a low budget. And it's very like. Oh, I love it. I think what's her, Holly Hunter's great in it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I should do a movie thing, but um, I think you should because I mean, our whole house is just full of old movies. You know what movie we started but we haven't finished, but so far it's really good. It's I think it's no. The, we're not going to talk about it because we can't even get through the first ten minutes. Of well, we movie. couldn't because no, no, we were watching it at asleep. five a.m. Oh, she fell asleep. No, <laughs> she fell asleep. I fell asleep because that's it was how good five it was. She felt like that <laughs> deep asleep <laughs> during it. She slept king it. Yeah, yeah. You slept king that through that movie. Don't even mention the movie until we see it. Okay, okay. I will because it'll give it justice. All right. Fair. Um, you've seen any? You've never seen any of those movies, right? Uh, my first one uh, ever, and also because it was the first time I saw that actor Javier Bardem was No Country for Old Men. Yeah, right. so and that's I was your, like my first time seeing a movie. Great like, movie. Whoa, that's also a great introduction to their movies altogether. Cause... But what movie you have to see, which is along that la- la- same lines, is Blood Simple, their very first one. I've never seen it. Blood Simple is a fucking masterpiece, and it's done with what ten dollars. Really? I mean, you can tell that it's not. But you can tell that they milk every camera angle and every choice. Yeah, it, 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 it's 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 an amazing fucking movie. What is your favorite Wes Anderson movie? 
oh god it's a tough one but i would have to say um the royal tenenbaums mm. is he your favorite director i have Wes i have top tens and he's in my top 10 mm. my favorite ever ever is um life aquatic nothing beats because that it's for water me. yeah anything or just like the it, that whole movie from beginning to, to end is like a dream come true for me on screen yeah it makes me so happy i don't know why What's the camp one with uh, Edward Norton? No, oh, that's Moonlight Kingdom. That was, yeah, I, that was nice. It's pretty good. I, I like that it. one. Yeah, but mm-hmm. he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't see all of. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Moonrise. All. It's, it's Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise. I mean, there's. It, it's. It's like. I. You know what? You're right. It's 2017. I want to grow, and I. I want to accept the fact that not everyone's seen everything, and that you grew up in a different time period. You know, you're also it, 20 years older than I him. understand that, but can I just say this? And, and I've heard that argument many, many, many times. Is is that um, High and Low Kurosawa's movie was d- made in the 50s? <gasps> I saw it. I wasn't alive then. Mm-hmm. I'm just one of those guys that it's good. Oh yeah, as a kid, I go, I'll watch it because I didn't like you know at that time when in the 80s. You saw 16 Candles, which is fun. <clears throat> but then you see a fucking long the thong on it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know. Yeah, but uh, you're... Uh, hello, hot stuff, or whatever he says in it. You know what I mean? And then you want to see something, Asians doing cool things. Yeah. Looking handsome. You know, f- solving crimes. Yeah. That's all. But <clears throat> for as much as you know about movies, it really, really surprises me that you know nothing about, about any... About Javier Bardem and no, all Spanish that. No, Spanish directors. Or, so you're very kind of... Um, uh, I like a la copoya. Is that Tangaya, about Tangaya? Filipino? Yeah, yeah. Because you know why he's doing this? Where are we this? at times? No, no, no. You, no, 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 no one second. One second. Where are we on time? One second. 42. Because oh, he talks about close. what a great Fuck. movie buff he is, right? And he puts us all down if we don't know, like, you know, a single movie. Mm-hmm. But this is a guy who says he's a self he's a self-proclaimed movie buff that he knows so much more than us but he can't even name one Pedro Almodovar movie. Just one. Uh-huh. Name one. It's Butterfly. Oh god. Butterfly people. Do so you see what I'm saying? Pedro Almodovar is one of the most world-renowned directors. You don't need, but you're uh, going to continuously talk uh, about uh, Kurosawa, Kurosawa, but you know you know nothing about Okay, I'm going to look up now. You fucking! You really just pissed me off so bad. Really, now mm. he's gonna alert everyone. I want no. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say top twenty directors. <laughs> Shut of up. all time, directors of all time. If he's on this list, yeah, I will watch every single one of his movies, and okay. I'm gonna apologize to you every day for the next year. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Those are high stakes. Top twenty directors of all time. Which, of all which publication are we going time. with? Yeah. Buzzfeed. I, in, in, in general, no, not in general. All right. Let's go. Film comment. I bet he's on there. Okay, so Film here comic. we go. All right. Hold on, hold on. IMDb. Is no, that cool? No. Why not IMDb? Because you're going to get like it's the... It's very American-centric. Yeah, IMDb is too American-centric. Phil Comic. For, the Guardian. The Guardian is good. Okay, where is it? 40 best directors. We'll no, look 20. at the top 20. I, I know, 20. but I'll, look, I'll name the top 20 for you. All uh, right. Obviously. Mm, David Lynch. Martin Scorsese. Uh-huh. Coen Brothers. I'm here. Steven Soderbergh. Yes. Terrence Malick. Uh-huh. Abbas Kiarostami. Uh-huh. You don't know him either. Errol, Errol Morris. Morris. Yeah, yes. we know Errol Morris. Hayao Miyazaki. Yes. David Cronenberg. Uh, oh, my God. This is not the right list. Terrence hey. Davis. There's no way. Lucas. Mu- why? Modest Because Kurosawa is not even on the front top ten. Oh, oh. Name one Wong Kar Wai movie. If you're. Oh, put your <laughs> What is yeah, happening, yeah, yeah, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not listening to this. I don't live in Hold this on. land. If you're such a movie buff and you're Asian, uh, uh, name uh, uh, one uh, uh, Wong Kar uh, uh, movie. Uh, 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 I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Oh, oh, this I'm going to say this right now. Wait, how, how, Kurosawa's not in this list? He probably is. I'm he's not. not he's not on this list. What I'm saying is, uh, you, you, this you, is not. The, this is already the wrong list. Name one Wong Kar Wai movie. And there's no. And, and <laughs> in the mood for love, Chongqing Express. Oh, Chongqing. Spike Jones is on this list, and Kurosawa's not on this list. This is not the right list. How about of all Sergio time? Sergio Leone. There's. I mean, what the fuck? What kind of list is this? This is not the list. I think these people are all still alive. Yeah, I'm not doing that list. Okay. Fuck that list. Just saying. I'm just calling you out, hey, Bobby. I'm Fuck doing you. the ultimate list <laughs> oh, of all time. Agree. IMDb. I... That's what I'm doing. Number one, Steven Spielberg. Mm. IMDb is American, I don't though. care. Sp- Steven Spielberg is a great fucking director. Yeah, but you're going to miss out on Martin all the Lord other... Martin Lorsorskese. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock. I'm already Stanley Kubrick. Yep. Right? Those... Fan- Francis Ford Coppola. Okay. Right? Billy Wilder. Okay. Woody Allen. 
Here we go. John Houston, Peter Jackson, Orson Welles. See, now we need to start getting some Milo's corners. Foreman, John Ford, David Lean, Inger, Inger, Ingmar Bergman. I don't know. James Ingrid Cameron, Bergman? Joel Cohen. Ridley Scott. This is already not quite Tarantino. <laughs> None of your... No, Christopher Nolan. No Bollywood directors? <laughs> this is not George has them. <laughs> what I'm saying is, stop sitting on your high Top horse because you don't time. know everything, Bobby. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is a good one. <laughs> Look, he's, he's going to try to still prove us wrong. I am. I apologize. I... You know what? That's... A, I don't know anything. <laughs> and I was... You know, I was a slap king, but now I'm nothing because, you know, I don't do I don't rip on Gilbert because out of hate, it's out of growth and love. Thank you. But then it's like you have to tear me down, baby. I don't know. Ala Malaparlio. I don't know um, the other guy, you know, so let's just go to the questions then. Question. Yeah. Uh, I'm, so, I'm just going to say something. Go ahead. Just in general, I'm going to change my ways. No, I'm just saying. And I, I just want to say, I, I want you to apologize to me. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to apologize for me. I'm sorry, Bobby. For what? For not accepting the, the growth that you were giving me. And that's exactly why I am the, the slap king. king. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because he didn't even do anything wrong and he apologized. And that makes me the fucking king of it You're all perpetuating kings. perpetuating this I'm, illness. I think I'm woke. Right? <laughs> Look at me right now, man. Apologize. Uh, have you saved my number yet? <laughs> I won't. Never. Apologize for that. How long it took me. I'm sorry okay, I'm not worthy of you saving my number, sir. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, go. Give me the question. Uh, don't even do the voice. I'm in such a bad mood now. Don't even do the fucking voice. I have a voice of Bobby. That's Clara. great. All right, I'm going to do this quick. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm a 27-year-old girl who has a crush on a guy. I'm Asian, and he is white. I'm pretty reluctant to date white guys in general, and I would never date a guy with yellow fever. I'm pretty sure he's not that, but he has a close-knit group of friends in which I would say 75% of them are in a white guy, Asian girl couple. Is it weird that this is the one thing that puts me off? Should I go for it anyway, or should I just wait this crush out? I think that, listen, the future is this. 100 years from now, if the androids and, and the robots don't kill us, Americans are going to look brown. We're all going to look the same. Mm. We need to we need to cross breed as quickly as we can. Oh, you know, you got to date. Well, I don't know <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's, it's, just it's, date yeah, something. Yeah, I shouldn't have at looked all? at you like that. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna just you're gonna die alone. Oh. <laughs> all right, you're gonna die alone, and I'm sorry for it. Let's erase that part. Okay. But I just think this lady right here, data white dude, I'm all for it now. I used to be opposed to it. But if you're an Asian guy too, date white chicks. Mm. Date a brown person. Date a black person. Date. Let's crossbreed. <laughs> Lila, your thoughts on crossbreeding? <clears throat> I think that she's she sounds like somebody who's probably dated the whole rainbow of men, which I applaud you for. I think you should try every single flavor on the menu. Um, <clears throat> but it sounds like she's put off by the by the idea not of his whiteness but by the fact that all of his other white friends are with majority of them are with asian women so she maybe feels like he could potentially have yellow fever fever and strictly only be attracted to asian women so that's what bobby has a problem with i think generally when you yeah. don't like when you just are very specific to one thing um but if he's a good guy and um, the only thing that's putting you off is his whiteness and his friends. Um, I, I wouldn't let that deter you from giving him a chance. Cool. Bobby, thank you for being an inspiration. Oh, God, He's are we reading again. it? From one former addict to another, thanks. <laughs> Everything you've been through <laughs> and overcome makes me want to be a better person. You rock. You taught me that it's okay to be weird and to embrace it. That's all I'm saying. Slap K. Slap K. Uh, shows for Bobby Clyla? We're not doing a second question. Uh, you want another one? No. We're, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to get out. I mean, I you know I you know I'll be real with you, man. I thought it was a good podcast, and at the end, I petered out because I got destroyed by you with your movie shit. Oh. And you know what? And, and because I you put a mirror in my face, and I got to look at me, the slept king, very handsome, on point, but still, I saw my own flaws, and um. But you just don't know. Any Wonka Wai movie? That's true. That is Almodovar. true. That is true. And I am going to catch up. Yeah. 
I'm gonna catch up. Every time. Why I can't I have the sticker again? It's a decal. <laughs> oh. It's not just a sticker. So like, put I it can put it on my car. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Bobby is going to be at the San Jose Improv February 10th through the 12th and Chicago Improv um, February 17th to the 19th and he's going to be in Houston March 3rd to the 5th. Edmonton. When's Edmonton? Edmonton is not till the month after, I uh, think. You're going to go to Edmonton with me? I don't Please know. Please go. Wait, it, sh- it should be pretty warm by then. It's a disaster. We got to go. No, I hear Edmonton's really fun. Well, we're, well, all we're going to do is to stay at that mall the well, whole day. It's great. You could hear seals being trapped in cages all night. <gasps> they have no. seals inside the mall? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? They have this whole otter. Uh, and at nights when you're walking through the, the You the know, hotel. I know. I, I, I can tell that that mall is a little bit backwards because they still have a photo studio where you can dress as... A fucking How do you know that? Native American. <laughs> oh, your picture you put. Oh, they have a photo it. studio dedicated to cultural appropriation. That's how I know that this mall is a and little bit go, on the backside. And back we're gonna go to the side. mall. And we're gonna do it. And they have like trapped animals and mammals in that mall. And they also have a church and a police station. Oh, it's wow! It's like Sim City. It's everything in there. Really? I never leave that place. And you know what? Also, they have one of the original spaghetti factories, and I love going. And what do you I love order? Getting, I love getting the manager special. They have the uh, it's um <laughs> Mithrathra trees. Misathra cheese Misathra. and uh, a meat sauce, and I do I mix it in a big thing, and it tastes so good to my belly. It does, and um, let's hope that um my meeting tomorrow goes good, and let's hope that this week goes good, and let's hope everyone gets safe, and um get in line. Shut Trump. up, Trump. <laughs> get in line. Slap King out. Uh, Claude, really quick MMA minute thoughts on Cerrone and Masvidal. Fought not. Um, I thought it was entertaining. I thought that was a probably ah. bad. Gobi. Hey, come here, Gobi. Ah. Can you let her out, Georgie, please? Oh. Um, I don't think that was a very good fight for Cerrone to take. Mm. I think that he's very coming off that Matt Brown win. I think that turnover was a little bit quick, don't you think? A little quick. Uh, went right into. Cap, I don't know. Kinda. I know he's from from Denver, but he's also it's high altitude there. You know. He looked sluggish a little. I didn't realize. He shouldn't be if he's from there. Um, I think he goes to Mexico before his fights. Oh, but Devin, well, that helps, though, yeah, right? is in altitude. Yeah, it's still altitude. Everyone. Yeah, um, <clears throat> very high altitude. Um, I have a confession to make, and let's. I'm just gonna put it out there that I've always loved Donald Cerrone from the bottom of my heart. He's always been my MMA fighter. You know that probably my top five favorite fighters, but there is, I think that my political sentiments are getting in the way of how I view the UFC altogether, how I view fighters, and I don't think that's fair to them as athletes, and I should put my own sentiments aside, but there was about 30% of me that was happy that he lost in his hometown to a Cuban because he's a Donald Trump supporter. (laughs) There's a part of me, and I can't I'm not going to lie about it. I still love him as a fighter. I always want to watch him fight, but there's a part of me that didn't want him to win. And there was a part of me that didn't, yeah, like, that did a little. I don't even care for Masvidal. I mean, I respect him as a fighter. Hey, man, street fighter. I know. I, I, of course, like, I respect him, but I, I have no, I've always loved Cerrone. You know, it's mm-hmm. always been one of my favorite fighters. Yeah, it's when you texted me that. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I deserved it. <laughs> but. And look what happens. Kalala predicts whatever she says happens. No way, my prediction. Follow her for off. MMA picks. I shouldn't have said that out loud. I feel fucked up about it. They're athletes, Kalila. They're athletes. They're athletes. That's all they are. They're athletes. Uh, George, any announcements? Uh, <laughs> okay, Jesus, Christ. Jesus, man. <laughs> uh, be sure to write us a review on iTunes, please. Every review helps. <laughs> It helps so much. Actually, oh, we're geez. almost at a bunch of views on Lipson. We're like at 900,000. Right. So almost a million. This month, we hit 900,000. So we're almost there, guys. Almost to a million, which is a really big um, really big thing for us. Yeah. And also, you might have heard a little Easter egg that was said on the podcast earlier when Bobby asked, what, do you, what did you guys do today? And I think George Kalala mentioned something about shirts. So be on the lookout. Yeah. They're coming that. soon. Ten years later. Ten Shirts years are coming, guys. Later. Don't worry about it. I know. They're cool. They're cool. Yeah, I think they're just... First batch. I like them. I love them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. And um, our website... Well, we shouldn't plug the website until everything is... But just say that. Let's take some nice there. photos. Because those... The, 
the shirts on the website aren't the official ones that are going to be there right, that we're making. Right, right. They're going to be a little bit nicer colors, a little more fun. Yep. And I think that's all we have for this week. You can follow me on all forms of social media at Calamity K. And you can follow Tiger Belly on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on Twitter at The Tiger Belly. And you can email us any questions at thetigerbelly at gmail.com. Or you can also just check out our Reddit, which is uh, Reddit slash Tiger Belly. <laughs> Thank you for the enthusiasm, George, <laughs> for your own fucking project that you started. No, it's uh, not me, it's the fan. P.O. Box? Our P.O. Box. But sing it, though. Wanna... Sing it so people can get used to like. I don't know how to sing. Uh, 1626 six. North Wilcox, number 161, Hollywood, <laughs> California, 90028. Oh, that's and good. It was good, but George will not be doing the song intro of Tiger Belly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's our show, guys. Bye. I'm, I'm, oh, oh never ahead. mind. No, no, say no, it. No, you, you get to say, say it. Bye. No, you get to say it. I'm going to open with a Filipino song next week. Well, you heard it here first, guys. I'm going to open. I'm going to tell Bobby, let me lead. Let me take the reins. Is it the one I like Emperor. that you and your sister do? Yep, yep, yep. Don't kill it. I'm oh, sorry. But it's going to uh, be a Justice Zaragoza gem. Boom. Bye, guys. Bye. See you.